Welcome to the Marvel Universe, where the grandeur and elegance of the Victorian era collide. Consider the Avengers in top hats and corsets, or Spider-Man swinging through cobblestone alleyways. This was a time when society was rapidly changing, and the idea of superpowered people would have been both fantastical and terrifying. But in this age of steam and revolution, how would Iron Man, Captain America, or Thor fare? Join me as we investigate the possibilities of Marvel heroes in the Victorian era and discover a world where classic heroism collides with the mystery and intrigue of the past. The Victorian era was a period of British history that lasted from 1837 to 1901, and it was a time of great social, economic, and cultural change. During this era, England became the most powerful nation in the world, and its people were obsessed with science, industry, and progress. In terms of superhero fiction, the Victorian era was a time of invention and creativity, with classic characters such as Sherlock Holmes, Dracula, and Frankenstein's monster captivating audiences around the world. But what if Marvel's iconic superheroes existed in this time period? How would their powers, abilities, and costumes be affected by the technology and cultural norms of the Victorian era? For example, Captain America might be a crusader for workers' rights and women's suffrage, while Iron Man might be a pioneering inventor of steam-powered machinery. Thor might be seen as a god of the industrial age, wielding a hammer that could harness the power of electricity, while Spider-Man might use his web-slinging abilities to help fight crime in the dark, foggy streets of London. The possibilities are endless, and exploring the intersection of Victorian culture and Marvel's universe can offer a fascinating and unique perspective on both. In a world like the Victorian era, where technology and society were rapidly changing, superheroes would be seen as even more awe-inspiring and wondrous. Just imagine, for example, how Spider-Man's web-slinging abilities would be viewed in a time when the fastest mode of transportation was a steam train, or how the sheer strength and durability of the Hulk could be used to build structures and machines that could reshape the very fabric of society. And when it comes to fighting evil, superheroes are the ultimate champions of good. In the Victorian era, villains could be both cunning and deadly, with advanced technology and nefarious plans that threaten the very stability of the British Empire. But with superheroes like Captain Britain, Union Jack, and Spitfire on the case, there's no doubt that they would be able to save the day and keep the city safe. Whether it's through their incredible powers or their unbreakable moral code, superheroes have a unique ability to bring hope and inspiration to even the darkest of times. And in a world like the Victorian era, their presence would be nothing short of miraculous. Hey there, fellow Marvel fans! I hope you enjoyed my video on Marvel Heroes in Victorian Era. It was so much fun imagining our favorite superheroes in such a unique and exciting time period. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. I'm always looking for new ideas and suggestions for videos, so be sure to leave a comment down below with your thoughts and ideas for what you'd like to see next. And if you know any other Marvel fans out there who would enjoy this video, be sure to share it with them on social media. I'm looking forward to building a community around my channel and connecting with other fans like you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I wonder if Doctor Strange would have been even more mysterious in a Victorian era, although knowing him, he probably just teleported himself to a more fashionable time period.